Ever pondered over the question which Python visualization library reigns supreme, Matplotlib or Seaborn? Well, buckle up, because we're about to dive into the depths of this fascinating debate. First up, Matplotlib, the granddaddy of Python visualization libraries. Born in the early 2000s, Matplotlib boasts a vast repertoire of capabilities. You can create bar plots, scatter plots, histograms, error charts, and even 3D plots, just to name a few. Its versatility is a significant strength, as it allows you to customize virtually every element of a plot. This means you have total control over the look and feel of your visualizations, a feature that can be quite handy when you need to tweak details for a presentation or a publication. However, with great power comes a not so great downside, complexity. The level of customization Matplotlib offers can be overwhelming, especially for beginners. The learning curve can be steep and generating complex plots can require a lot of code. Now enter Seaborn, the new kid on the block. Seaborn is in fact built on top of Matplotlib. It takes the robustness of Matplotlib and wraps it in a more user-friendly interface. Seaborn provides a high-level interface for drawing attractive and informative statistical graphics. It comes with several built-in themes that can make your plots look professional and aesthetically pleasing with minimal effort. Furthermore, Seaborn has excellent capabilities for visualizing complex datasets, including heat maps and pair plots. The downside? While Seaborn simplifies many tasks, it's not as flexible as Matplotlib. Some customization options are not as accessible, which can be limiting for those who like to fine-tune every aspect of their plots. So who wins the battle? It's not that simple. Both Matplotlib and Seaborn have their strengths and weaknesses. Matplotlib offers unparalleled flexibility and control, while Seaborn provides simplicity and attractive defaults. The choice largely depends on your needs and the level of customization you require. If you're just starting out or need to generate beautiful plots with minimal fuss, Seaborn could be your go-to. But if you're a seasoned data scientist who needs to create highly customized plots, you might find Matplotlib more suitable. In conclusion, Matplotlib and Seaborn are both powerful tools in the Python visualization arsenal. They each have their unique advantages and can even be used together for more versatile plotting. So rather than choosing one over the other, why not harness the strengths of both to create compelling, informative visualizations that meet your specific needs? Remember, the best tool is often not the one that's objectively best, but the one that best suits your needs. So take the time to experiment with both Matplotlib and Seaborn to see which one or combination of both serves you best. Happy plotting.